shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Sunday, the sun is shining. And that's probably, if you're watching this in the morning, I apologize. It might be a little bit too loud for your tender heads. The past week I've been waking up super early at the beginning it was quite frustrating because I needed a bit of extra zeds but um, the past couple of nights I've gotten a decent eight hours and um, my coffee is now just an enjoyable drink rather than essential medicine each morning. So we have doggies eating their breakfast. Roxy! So Roxy Oxy Rooster has um, lost a tooth this week. She she doesn't have the best teeth, and uh, yeah, one came out this week. So we may need to bring her to the doggy dentist. Bailey, they're very busy right now because obviously it's feeding time with the zoo. And I'm up, I'm dressed. I went for a kind of an 80s vibe today because the sun is out. Embracing it. Embracing my legs, not being scared of wearing shorts anymore. I have so many pairs of shorts that have been gifted to me by different clothing companies and I've always just looked at them going, not gonna happen, I don't wear shorts. But I, I'm, I'm in them. I'm in a pair of white, bright Prozis shorts today. So I literally got sent them and was like, not gonna happen. But, don't rule it out. Don't rule out embracing your body. As you can see, I'm smiling, I'm happy. This week has been a roller coaster of emotions from crying and wanting to not get up in the morning to this. So it's okay during quarantine to have a lot of different emotions and feeling frustrated and wanting to get on with your life and seeing empty wrappers. That was not me, that was my sister in law. Wasn't me who wet it, I wish. I'm still trying to be good. I'm trying to look after myself. Still getting my vitamins in, still getting my coffee in. A few days of struggle to, to exercise, but then other days I made up for it. So here's the quarantine, getting us all healthy and manic. <laughs> I have had this process box sitting on the floor for the past two days because I was working up the energy to just um, record a video and that's kind of the reality of it. I don't like recording when I'm feeling in a non-creative kind of negative funk. So today I woke up full of beans as you can clearly see and I'm going to take you through my um, a little online delivery from Prozis. They've really been providing the goods for getting me through quarantine and I really appreciate it. And um, I just want to share it with you guys because I think they're awesome. So I've laid it out all beautifully for you guys. It's not a huge haul, so I just want to quickly t take you through what I got because these are probably some of my favorite things. So number one is protein pizza. They were out of stock of them last month and um, because they're back in stock, I got four of them and I love them. We usually have pizza once a week as a bit of a treat night and um, obviously still getting the protein in and lower carbs. Um, these I think are awesome. It's an alcohol uh, gel and it has aloe vera in it and um, I'm just going to be keeping it in my handbag just so if I do end up going out and feel exposed I can just have this in my handbag. It's 100 ml so again good for travelling with as well if we ever get the chance to travel again. H2O, I actually have multiple boxes of this. Um, this is the infusion. I like the milky almond. Puts it in my water every day. It has like a crazy amount. It has, it has double the normal amount of uh, vitamin C in it. So I usually put it in one of my big one and a half liter bottles and sip on it throughout the day. Um, getting my immunity in and it tastes really good as well. So it encourages me to drink water. Biotin, uh, amongst my other vitamins, uh, biotin is definitely an essential, especially if you're getting a bit older. It's good for your hair, your nails, your skin, everything. So this has a really good um, IU content. It's uh, 450 uh, milligrams and um, just take it every day. 
it's part of your daily routine this is a bag of the little individual bars which if you follow me on instagram you'll see that i usually have one of these a day and i just keep them in a jar uh, they're just the perfect little size they're just like that size small enough you get your chocolate hit and it's not killing your macros for the day. Um, I got some of these egg whites. Uh, they're in a nice little small bottle. They do have litre bottles, but I got the 500 ml. And I just keep them in the freezer so they don't go off. They last forever. And I use them for baking and for scrambled eggs and just for loads of different things. So keep those going. And um, we've got the protein muesli. I don't actually eat this as protein muesli. So it's kind of like false advertising. I put it on the top of the yogurt um, because I like a little bit of crunch to my yogurt, but just tastes really good. Adds a little bit of flavor and nice. Uh, these are the zero break bars and legit, legit, they taste like a Kit Kat like not even kidding and they're just really low in um, sugar and perfect treat for with your brew skis again protein malts these are like Maltesers like and they're really good macros and I just have them with a cup of coffee or you know if watching a movie you want a little snack these ones here I just got them and me Lex and Natasha are all addicted to them they literally are identical to peanut M&M's <clears throat> except there's only four grams of sugar in a bag and keeping the sugar content low and the taste high up we've got some protein bread and um, yes I do love my toast so this is the muesli one the muesli one tastes like um, uh, cinnamon raisin bran or cinnamon raisin bread so uh, just toast that up with some peanut butter and then I've got the whole grain one which um, just tastes like whole grain bread and it's just, it really like protein bread usually tastes really crappy but these ones they absolutely taste amazing have really good macros winner and um, the zero chips even though I love them Lex tends to steal them on me so um, I've just gotten him a load of them because, you know, keep him happy. That was my little process food haul. As you can see, it was quite snack orientated because month to month, depending on what I require, I'll kind of get different things. So uh, this time I was running low, obviously, on all the snacks because that's what we do. We're snack monsters here in our house. If you want to purchase any of the process things, they also have um, face masks right now. They have obviously the clothing, which I'm rocking right now. Just use code Laney and it gets you 10% off and the more you spend the more kind of gifts you get and things like that and you can build up points, I've said it before, they just have a really good uh, system once you register with them so you can kind of treat yourself as well. Now back to my day and my coffee to decide what chocolate to have with my morning coffee now. If you struggle to get protein or collagen into your diet one way to do it is to add a scoop of protein peptide collagen to a cup with uh, carries, um, some of the soy milk and then I'm going to add coffee to it and it'll be really milky and really bit delicious. So for breakfast we have a collagen coffee, some of the whole grain bread toasted with Irish butter because it has to be Irish. And and some marmite so keeping it simple tasty although the sun is shining i haven't really gotten outside in it today i went outside and had my coffee this morning and played with the dogs and stuff but i spent most of my time sat right here on the sofa just editing and um doing crap online which is pretty much what we spend most of our time doing creating content and editing it up and showing it on the internet so um i've just had a pack of these these are the maltesers from prosis had a pack of them as a snack and i'm gonna have an apple and then i'm gonna go outside since it's a lovely day and i'm going to do a hamstring and back workout but i'm only going to use one piece of equipment and i'll see how i get on so i'm going to use the long resistance band now this is quite heavy and quite difficult so you can get them online um, from Amazon or whatever and uh, yeah let's see what we can do
Listening. So it is dinner time, we've done our workout, we've done our doggy walk and I've just got some honey mustard chicken with some roasted veggies and obviously portion control and I'm going to eat that. Um, I've had a busy day on the laptop uh, editing and all that jazz so not been that exciting a day and didn't really get to sit out as much as I'd like to so maybe tomorrow I'll catch a few more rays. I spent the majority of the evening after dinner just chilling out watching Netflix with the dogs. It's been a busy day and I'm thinking I'm going to continue this on into tomorrow and do a physique update and kind of catch you up on what I've been doing generally just to keep busy over the past eight weeks. Hopefully we'll be free soon. Good morning lovely people. So continuing on the vlog from yesterday. Um, I just wanted to come on and chat about how I've been getting through the past eight weeks. What I've been doing to keep myself sane and entertained and you know positive throughout because I think we're all on um, a roller coaster of emotions uh, during this lockdown period because you know it's not normal this is not the norm and the fact is that now it is the norm but we weren't prepared for it so most things that come into our lives um, we're kind of prepared for and this has kind of taken the entire world by shock and horror and how you deal with it is your own personal journey because everyone um, is experiencing it in their own unique way. Not one of us, um, not one of us has the same journey. Like even within my household, we're all on a different journey throughout this. So um, the main thing I've been doing is trying to get up early and before I get out of bed I remind myself of everything I feel good about um, of everything I want to have in my life positivity wise so um, I've just been laying there and kind of thinking through um, I suppose positive manifestations and putting out positivity in the world and um, I go downstairs I spend the morning with my dogs drinking my coffee outside when it's warm and just generally um yeah trying to like bring positivity into what is a kind of a, a dark time for everyone and then I suppose I'm trying to also um create content that will lighten the mood for people and um also 
bring uh, some happiness and fun into your life. So I'm sharing memes, I'm, I've also created a Patreon account, so what that is is like a private um, membership service and it's kind of like my Instagram, it's fun, it's sexy, but I feel like uh, my sexy side probably isn't appropriate for every forum. Um, it's not like nudity, it's not porn, it's nothing like that, but it's where I get to like show my lingerie and um, my bikini photos and videos and try-ons where I feel a bit more comfortable that uh, I'm not exposing my close friends and family to it and that it's um, more for people who want to support me online um, because obviously when we're in lockdown it's affecting a lot of our incomes and um, if I can do something that's at my disposal that I can share and make an income from it I'm gonna do it and I'm not gonna be embarrassed about it I'm not gonna be ashamed because I'm doing nothing wrong I'm hurting no one I am simply sharing something that anyone who pays for the membership is getting something that they need out of and um, it's not really anything to be embarrassed or ashamed about um, so don't feel bad for me because I quite enjoy it it's a fun way for me to express myself so right now um, I'm actually at the lightest weight I've been for a very long time and um, it's not through trying or consciously dieting or doing anything in particular I just get up each day and I eat for my appetite I eat for my happiness for my nutrition I'm conscious of getting enough protein in I'm conscious of getting enough um, micronutrients and healthy stuff in to keep my body in shape and keep me and my mind healthy but um, yeah I've been dropping weight and I don't know whether it's like because I'm in a more relaxed state of mind and I'm being more positive but the last couple of weeks I've dropped weight and I'm feeling good I'm feeling lean but not unhealthy and I don't have a major goal right now because we've no vacations coming up I've no photo shoots coming up um, I feel like the pressure is off so I'm able to just relax and enjoy the process of being healthy without any um, time frame or external factors affecting it only that I want to be happy and healthy and I think that's I think when you take the pressure like that off yourself and just um, focus on you and what you want that's when um, you kind of get the greatest oh, I don't know achievement out of it and um, just feeling good about myself is my priority right now and getting to the end of quarantine and starting a new kind of I suppose more stringent social distancing um, it'll be weird when we're released out some people are scared about being released out into normality where people um, maybe don't respect each other's boundaries physically and um, it's okay to be scared but we need to move forward and not focus on being scared or anxious and um, maybe just write down why you're feeling anxious and work back from where it stems from and then work through it that way and um, because uh, most anxiety comes from a, a strange place and we can work through it and establish that we don't need to feel that way because we just have to live in this moment and what is going to happen is going to happen and what it has happened has happened we can't change the fact that there's a pandemic all we can do is live in this moment and make it work for us so I feel like I'm going to leave the video there. I'm just going to put up a quick physique update so you can see where my body is physically. This is not for any, I don't know, sexuality or vanity on my part. I'm just sharing my body to maybe inspire someone or um, promote the self-confidence I'm feeling right now because I'm not perfect. I've got cellulite, I've got stretch marks, I've got loose skin, I'm 38, so I'm not perfect. But um, I feel that um, working on my confidence right now is really helping me and feeling worthy and not letting negativity um, inflict upon my day and my feelings and moving forward into, I suppose, a new world that we're going to be going into. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to check out my Patreon account, um, I'll link down below. Um, it's obviously purely up to you, you don't have to. 
Uh, it might not be your cup of tea. It might not be something that you want to see. And that's fine, that's why I have it as membership and private. But um, I'm just going to go and do my physique update and then I'm going to go and socially distance my friend whose birthday it is and we're going to sing happy birthday on her doorstep at a, so a safe distance because that's what you do isn't it for your friends so i love you guys and i will see you in the next video very soon Everybody put them drinks up, put them up. There's some left, you better drink then up. Drink it on X. Oh, you wanna know why? Watch, cause we all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go all out. Say money. I ain't on gon' fix. Pour it back, back, back it on. We all gon' bounce. bounce. Now the sun gone down. Don't say money, cause we go say all out. Yeah, back it on X like a biggie. Big money, more problems, but I still make a million. Nah, I get a million at the bank, get spend it. it on the drink, get the shots, go ahead, get tips. tips. Keep it real, roll back the seat. Hold tight when you ride with me. Hold tight, watch out. Yeah, we might get off the street. Go from left to the right, hit the curb like. Never roll alone. Top down, heads out, bad bitch on the corner star. Pour the drinks, pour the drinks, the don't stop. Make it fucking rain.